Hello friends, welcome to my channel Network Techie. In this video, we will be learning about the RIP version 2 authentication. The scenario is very simple. We have got two routers in this topology, R1 and R2. We will need to implement uh, RIP version 2 authentication between do these two routers. And the objective is the, the updates uh, should be secure. Okay. So, before proceeding with the configuration, let me tell you a couple of points. RIP version 1 does not support authentication and RIP version 2 supports two type of authentication. First, plain text authentication. Second, MD5 authentication. The first one, plain text authentication, as the name suggests, the password is in plain text form. It is uh, clearly visible. Hence, the routing updates between the routers R1 and R2 are not secure. The second form of authentication, MD5, this is a secured one and uh, the password is not visible. Hence, the routing updates are secured using the MD5 authentication. So, before proceeding with the authentication practical, we need to do basic configuration of RIP between these two routers, which I have already done in the notepad file. You can get the download link to this configuration in the description of this video. Okay. So, let us start with the basic configuration of uh, RIP. Let us do the R1 configuration first. I am copying the configuration of R1. Go to router to configs mode. Config is pasted fine. Now I am copying router to configuration. Router to configuration mode. Okay, so both the routers are configured. Now I need to do a basic test whether I am receiving two subnet route on router 1 and this one subnet route on router 2 and I am going to do show IP route RIP. We have not got any RIP route on router 1. Let us check if the interfaces are configured fine. Yes. So, am I able to ping my IP address? Yes. Can we ping router 2 IP address? Yes. Let us check once again if we have got the RIP route. Yes, we got at this time. Let us check the connectivity. So, we have uh, access to two subnet from R1. In the same way, we should have access. We have not got uh, one subnet on router 2. IP interface brief. Let us check if we are advertising this uh, route in the RIP configuration section RIP. So, we are advertising this route. Let us check once again and let us check the configuration on R1 section RIP. So, over here we have made a mistake in the RIP configuration. This network statement should not be there. Instead, we should use one subnet. Okay. So, we have advertised 10 network on R1 and one network on R1. Now, if we go back to router 2 and we do the show IP route RIP, yes, we got the one subnet this time and we do have the connectivity. So, the basic connectivity is done. Let us implement the authentication now. So, the configuration authentication parameters are like this. Key chain RIP, key number 1 and key string that is the password Cisco. So, this name key chain RIP, it can be any user defined name. I have used RIP over here. This key chain name uh, does not need to be same on both the routers. It can be different on both the routers as well as the key number needs does not need to be same. Uh, it can be different on both the routers, but make sure we have the same password configured on both the routers. If the password is configured different on both the routers, then this authentication is not going to function. So, I am copying this parameters, going to router 1 config mode, 
I have configured this and if I do debug IP drape let us see what if we get something and the same configuration on the router 2. So, we have done the same configuration keychain name is rip the same key number we have used on R1 and the password is Cisco which we have used on R1 as well. So, we have uh, done this now we need to apply the configuration plain text on both routers for that we need to go to config mode and uh, under the interface the command is IP rip authentication keychain and the name of keychain is rip you do you see this invalid authentication message now uh, the routes between the uh, the R2 subnet information which uh, we got earlier this route should be removed after the uh, one after the flush timer which is 240 seconds you can see uh, the timer has gone to 45 seconds we do have connectivity now but once the flush timer hits which is 240 second this route will be removed from the router 1 routing table ok. So, I am going to disable the debugging uh, ok. So, in this IP rip authentication mode when I do question mark there are two types of authentication like I said before clear text and MD5. Clear text this command we do not need to put over there because it is a default command and uh, when we have to enable md5 we, we definitely need to mention this command so coming out of this i'm going to r2 we have already defined the key chain key number and key string password i just need to enable the key chain on the router 2 i'm going to interface ethernet 00 ip rip authentication key chain and the name of key chain is rip when I go back to R1 and debug starts the debug debug IP rip let us see what is going on behind the scenes. So, we are sending version 2 update to rip multicast address 224009. So, you can see we have received a packet with text authentication Cisco from router 2 10 1 1 2 on ethernet 0 slash 0 and the update is about 2 2 2 dot 0 slash 24. So, this uh, with this the uh, routing updates are not secure that is why this authentication method is not preferred at all and uh, let us uh, start with the MD5 message digest 5 authentication which is the secure one and there is just one command to enable that and before that let me just stop this debugging I am going to ethernet 0 slash 0 and the command is IP rep authentication mode like I said before. So, text is already running right now we need to enable MD5 the secure ones and hit enter. Once I enter this and enable the debugging once again you will see that invalid authentication messages will start coming again ok. So, you can see we have got invalid authentication because R2 is running plain text and we are running uh, message digest ok. So, let us uh, go to router 2 and uh, the keychain command will remain there we need to use IP rep authentication method is this time IP rep authentication mode MD5 hit enter come out of this when we do show run interface ethernet 0 slash 0 we should have two commands IP rep authentication mode MD5 and the key chain is rep which uh, which contains the password Cisco. Let us go back to router 1 stop the debugging 
show run interface ethernet 0 slash 0 and you can see we have uh, authentication mode md5 on router 1 as well and the keychain command is configured as well so we have rip routes again in the routing table of r1 and we received the routing update 14 seconds ago and we do have connectivity so everything is perfect i hope you like this uh, video and uh, thank you so much for watching it